Hey there, and welcome to part two of Proud Father and a Pride Kilt. Um, you've seen the previous ep episode, I was debating about what pleating style to choose, and I finally settled on the red line centered on the green with the black. Very, very narrow, because I tried all the other ones back and forth. I listened to people's suggestions, but I decided that this provided the best contrast, the best balance with the apron. If we went for yellow or if we went for the purple, it's the, it, the contrast was too stark. And because this is a distance purchase, the fellow lives in California, I didn't have the chance to interview him personally because in a conversation with a client, because typically the cloth will arrive and we'll unroll it on the table and we'll, tr we'll play with it every single way we can find to arrange the pleat. So when I'm doing that, I'm subtly giving the guy side eye because I'm waiting for the moment that his breath catches or his eyes dilate. And then I know, aha, that's what you like. And I didn't have that conversation or I didn't have that opportunity. And he, he trusted me with, to, with my expertise. That's what I chose. And that's what we've got. And it, so, it, it, so it's, I think it's the best balance. It also has a very strong vertical element which is heightening and slimming but also best of all when he walks now i'm leaving the base in for shipping but when he walks he's going to get a burst of color and it's going to be fabulous it's going to look really good I'm, I'm quite happy about this so i am going to put the lining in now this has been wonderful cloth to work with i, I love this palette i mean even working with it you know he's never going to see this sunset kind of detail, desert sunset kind of detail across the back where I've thinned it out, right? Because the lining is going to cover that. But it was, it's been, a, it's been a challenge and a lot of fun. And he's probably going to be seeing this shortly after I post it because uh, today is Wednesday. I might get the lining. I'll certainly have the lining in by Thursday. I might get it in the post by Friday. He might be wearing it Monday. So, um, yeah, it's been fun. It's been a challenge. I've enjoyed this and I wish him every um, joy and happiness of his new kilt and, you know, in support of, in support of his child. It's wonderful. So thanks for this opportunity to, to introduce me to this cloth and have a chance to work with it. So thank you and carry on.